what's happening guys so man i just wanted to start this uh movie review series so i'm gonna start reviewing movies well i'm gonna start reviewing every once in a while so let me stop rambling and let's just start so today i'm gonna be reviewing cars a movie from 2006 made by pixar directed by john lasseter so I remember when this movie came out and I was just almost like 11 months old because I was born July 21st, 2005. And if I remember rightly, um, I kind of grew up with this franchise. I absolutely loved this franchise. And all I have to say about this movie, I think that this movie is a masterpiece. This movie is one of the best if not the best animated movie of 2006. And I am not exaggerating. I love this movie. I absolutely love this movie. Like, well, let me stop rambling and let me get into why I love this movie so much. Okay. So, the number one reason I love this movie is because... Look at the animation. The animation is absolutely beautiful. Pixar never fails to disappoint me with their animation. I think their animation is fantastic. And and the movie has a really well plot. It, it It's a thing that teaches kids that life isn't all about winning and stuff like that. And I have to say that Owen Wilson absolutely killed it as lightning mcqueen he had the voice and the and the mannerisms and and his behavior and stuff like that i think he was perfect as lightning mcqueen now don't get me wrong keith Thur ferguson and the shorts were really good I, I didn't mind him but i'm going for owen wilson owen wilson is my boy i absolutely love him and speaking of Lightning McQueen, his love interest, Sally, voiced by Bonnie Hunt. Bonnie Hunt is a very good actor. She she starred in the Beethoven movie, which was my childhood movie that I used to watch on HBO Family. Well, it's not permanently on HBO Family, but I watched it once, and I absolutely loved that movie. And the voice actor, Larry the Cable Guy... <laughs> That's a funny actor name, but he was great as Mater. Mater is a funny, hilarious character. I absolutely love him. Like, and he's a very great friend towards Lightning McQueen. And there's the scene where everybody laughs at where Tom Mater takes Lightning McQueen out at night to go scare a few tractors. <laughs> <laughs> And I thought it was funny as well. How they were like, Ooh, boo. And then they tip over, and then a few seconds later, they go, <laughs> <laughs> So Mater was literally doing all the work. But then, um, Lightning McQueen wanted to give it a try, but unfortunately, he didn't have a horn, but he had a really loud engine. And all the tractors started falling and tipping over. And <laughs> there were so many fart sound effects. I couldn't stop laughing until when Frank comes. Well, now, a lot of kids, like, when they were, like, very young when this movie came out, a lot of kids were afraid of Frank. I, I couldn't disagree more. I thought the Frank chase scene was absolutely hilarious. I, I literally teared up watching it. It was... <laughs> and the way that Vader was saying, he was like, Rah, he's gonna get you. <laughs> oh my gosh. I love Vader, dude. I love him so much. And... Another thing that amazes me about this movie is that Michael Keaton's portrayal as the villain. They could not have picked a better actor to play Chick Hicks. I'm telling you, if you give these guys a million years, they could not have picked a better actor to play Chick Hicks. I think Michael Keaton was amazing as Chick Hicks. 
Like, like the way he talks, like, like, the piston cup, it's mine, dude, mine. Hey, fellas, what do you think I'm looking Dynaco Blue? Dynaco Blue. I'm just saying, Michael Keaton's line in that movie was absolutely amazing. Also, um, the king, yeah, Strip Witters is his name. He's like a retire. He's almost in the retired racer. Eh, he's a good enough racer. He was kind of a, a little bit of a good character in the movie. He was a, he was a mentor in the, in the kind of beginning, like giving him some helpful tips. But Langham McQueen didn't really give a crap about him saying stuff. Speaking of mentors, let me talk about Doc Hudson, R.I.P. Paul Newman. Um, Doc Hudson was a really great mentor for Lightning McQueen. He taught him how to um, have manners and tell him that life isn't all about winning and all that stuff. And everyone in Radiator Springs is a nice, warm-hearted car. And in the beginning, the beginning of the movie started off as an action-packed race, and I absolutely loved it. I absolutely loved it. It kind of shows how good Lightning McQueen is at racing. Like, he, you saw him, like, doing tricks, cutting people off in the race. And he, he's just celebrating like that. He's like this happy-go-lucky uh, car, but... When he was about to go to the pits, he was he's kind of like like a little rushed out. He's like, no, 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 no tires, just gas. And I kind of think that he should have stopped for uh, some tires because unfortunately, unfortunately, when halfway into the race, when he's about to win the Piston Cup, his tire literally pops and he is struggling to get into the final lap of the race. And somehow Chick Hicks and the King catch up to him, and it's a three-way tie, and Lightning McQueen is just stressed out because he really wanted to win. I honestly don't blame him, because I played in a Mario Kart tournament, and when I lost at the very end, I was kind of upset, because the prize was like $1,000. And... I kind of felt Lightning McQueen's pain in this movie. Now, here's another thing I like about this movie. How, in the end of the movie, like, like Lightning McQueen made a really hard decision before he crossed the finish line. It was either win the race and be a jerk, or... um waste away, like, like, scrap the idea of winning and help the king, because Chick Hicks was absolutely ruthless on the road. He literally rear-ends the king, causing him to go into almost a fatal crash, which could have killed him. Oh my god, I despise Chick Hicks for what he did. Absolutely appalling. He should have been arrested for assault. And also, if Lightning McQueen never went to Radiator Springs, he would have been a jerk and rubbed it in uh, the King and Chick Hicks' faces. So I'm happy that Lightning McQueen went to Radiator Springs, because he has a heart now. And when Chick Hicks won the Piston Cup, the whole audience was like, I do not get this clown out of my face. And he starts copying Lightning McQueen's line saying, Kachika. It's not even that catchy. Kachow is way better. But he's like, Kachika. And everyone is literally booing him, telling him to get off the stage. And <laughs> that, that literally brought a tear to my eye when I was laughing. He was like, She brought the part of Chikara. Chikara. Yeah, Chick Hicks, you need to be disqualified. Disqualified. This is the perfect, um, uh, this is how the race, uh, in its actual results. This is what I said in the community post. I said, the king wins, Lightning McQueen in second place, and Chick Hicks in third for cheating and get disqualified because... 
Because one, you cheated, and two, you assaulted a legend. How cold-hearted of you, Chick Hicks. I'm surprised you didn't get arrested for doing that. You knew it would have been an amazing ending in the epilogue in the credits. Instead of the uh, road hazards pulling the road, it should have been Chick Hicks. That would have been absolutely hilarious. And speaking of the epilogue, I love how it had uh, references to Toy Story 1, uh, Monsters, Inc., and A Bug's Life. And I thought that was absolutely hilarious. And then they got John... Rassenberg, I don't know how to say his last name, but the voice of Mac, and he reacts to, uh, Ham's voice, and, uh, the Abominable Snowman's voice, and, and, uh, P.T. Flea's voice, and I couldn't stop laughing, it's, it was that funny. Now, what do I think about this movie? What would I give it? I would give it a 10 out of 10. Great classic. If you're a fan of Pixar, you will love this movie. Um, unfortunately, I, I didn't really see it in theaters because uh, I was a little baby. I didn't really know that much. But when I was a year old to see Flushed Away, I was kind of old enough to see that movie because I would understand more TV and movies now. But that's okay. I still love this movie. This movie gets a 10 out of 10. I still love it as a 16-year-old teenager. And I just absolutely love this movie. So stay tuned. I might review Cars 2. Hope... Sorry, the audio cut off. Hopefully I'll review that movie soon. So stay tuned and thanks for watching.